Mountain West. All right, the, 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 you know what I'm actually looking forward to about watching football? By the way, this is The Drive with Tim Donnelly here on 99.9 The Fan. One of the things I'm actually looking forward to about watching football is that we'll have a reason to not think about expansion as much. We'll have a reason to put that on the back burner for a moment. Just because I, I think I think it's necessary, right? I think the business people, right? The dollars and the cents people, the 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 calculators, the accountants, the presidents, chancellors, athletic directors, I think I think they're gonna appreciate when everybody can can watch football and get distracted a little bit and let them do their jobs behind the scenes. Yeah. And I think obviously the the Mountain West, the American, they're they're looking forward to that also. Mountain West and the American Athletic Conference uh, are being reported that they've they've made presentations or have presentations scheduled for Washington State and Oregon State. Washington State and Oregon State are two of the four remaining Pac-12 schools. It's as of right now: Stanford, Cal, Washington State, Oregon State. This is where we're at in expansion now, where you hear. Mountain West and American are making pitches to Washington State and Oregon State, and it immediately makes your brain go to, okay, they must be expecting Stanford and Cal to join the ACC. And when I say they, when I say they are expecting Stanford and Cal to join the ACC, they could mean a couple different people. They could mean the Mountain West and the American Athletic Conference, Right, because they're pitching Oregon State and Washington State, you would expect that to mean, uh, you know, they believe those two schools are going to be looking for a home and won't be tied to Stanford and Cal. You could also say uh, they are expecting Stanford and Cal to join the ACC. Could mean Washington State and Oregon State because they're looking for a home in the event that Stanford and Cal leave them stranded out there in what was used to be the Pac-12. This is the stuff that I do th- like. I, I that logic makes sense, right? I want I want that to be clear. That logic makes sense. I'm I'm not uh, denying that the fact that these meetings are taking place does make me believe that Stanford and Cal are going to end up in the ACC more, right? Gut feeling, I think it's going to happen. But also, I'm looking forward to the time when somebody tells me the Mountain West and the American Athletic Conference are courting Oregon State and Washington State, and I go, huh. Well, all right, I'm going to go back to watching this game. Huh. That's interesting. Well, what do we got? We got we got Navy-Notre Dame. <laughs> what do we got? We got UMass playing? Huh. Interesting. By the way, UMass was picked. I, I saw a lot of the power rankings mm-hmm. that rank every single FPS school. UMass, dead last. Dead last. Not they're, surprised. They're playing week zero, though, so even that's kind of interesting, right? Hey, it's, there you go. It's like trying to climb your way out of the the the, the basement. Let's see if they're really that bad. Mm-hmm. Again, good and interesting don't always go hand in hand. Sometimes bad is interesting. My point about all of this is is very simple. And it, and it could be the Heisman race. It could be the, the uh, expansion, the conference realignment discussions. It could be anything. Uh, this weekend... They all become part of the story of what's going on on the field. It's no longer just off the field stuff. It's the it moves to the background. It moves to the stuff you talk about during halftime. It moves to the stuff you talk about during commercials. Because once players are on the field making plays, we watch the players on the field making plays. And I hope, I hope, this might be my number one hope for this season. When players get on the field and they start right doing all the things that we love about college football, putting their bodies on the line, right, making plays, uh, making mistakes, and trying to make up for them, and 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 the joy of victory, the agony of defeat, all of those sorts of things, it'll it'll remind us about what the the special sauce is for college football and college sports in general. So when you hear the SEC, the Big Ten, this mover and shaker, that power broker wants to have a mini NFL, wants to have something that's more than college but less than pro, we can all sit back and go, all right, let's talk about it, but let's make sure we don't miss out on, we don't move on from, we don't unnecessarily unnecessarily eliminate the best parts of what is what have made college football the second most popular sport in the country, with the first being the NFL. Mm-hmm. 
And sometimes the only way to experience the best parts of college football are to, to watch them, to get there on campus, to, to experience different stadiums. I saw um, somebody on Twitter or X.com put a – I don't even know what to do with that. I don't know either. I have no idea what to do with that. No one knows. They, they started saying, like, you know, list all of the college football stadiums you've been to, and everybody was retweeting it, and everybody was listing them. And I was going, like – I need to up my game. Yeah. Right? Because they're, they're, I I work in this industry and there's people out there that are, you know, they they got a day job and and they're not covering sports and and they're wiping the floor with me and going to these different, like they're all unique, which is part of the cool parts. We talked about uh, App State and ECU playing. Yeah. Those two, I mean, same state, right? Both uh, football schools, completely different atmospheres for their home games. Completely and totally different atmospheres for their home games. That's part of what college football is. Fun atmospheres. Very fun, yes. Oh, yeah. Very fun. Dowdy Ficklin, Kip Brewer, two of the best. They're as good as it gets. But every time an NFL stadium is is built, it feels like they're getting closer and closer to being the exact same. Yeah. Right? It's a big, oh, crazy. You're going to have a big jumbotron and a retractable roof? Whoa. Didn't see that coming. So cool. What do you have? Uh, gigantic suites and boxes, and then oh, is there uh, like a like tables you can sit on near floor level in the corners that that have waiter and waitress service? Oh wow, no way! Haven't seen that in every other NFL stadium. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, you go to different college stadiums; it feels like different college stadiums, right? It takes on the the region more. I don't want to lose that. And sometimes in the off season you forget about it. You're just like, I had a good time this past college season. Once the season, when, once it starts, then you you dive in, right? Even if you're just watching the games on TV, you see the blimp shots, the helicopter shots. In the NFL, what do you get? You get a skyline and you get a picture of a, a stadium with the roof closed. When you get the blimp shot on college game day over some campus, oh, I know exactly which campus that is. Oh, yeah. I know exactly why that. That's fun, and why that fun is different than the fun from last week. You see all the colors of like the te- like guys or people just wearing jerseys and shirts of the school, and you or, see the school or colors shirtless just, with their their chest painted. That too, just see that just scattered around campus, or people just flowing in the, the tailgate shots. It's it's I I'm I'm with you. I hope we don't lose sight of what makes college sports so exactly. special. Exactly, that's what I'm getting at. We're gonna see it this weekend. We're going to see it next weekend, and we're going to see it the weekend after that, and the weekend after that. Once college football starts, I think everybody gets back into the, oh, yeah, this is the magic. This is the 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 sprinkle of, of pixie dust that makes us all infatuated with this sport. And then as soon as the offseason starts, it goes back to, like, media deals, money, money, millions, millions, NIL, transfer portal, football, football. Fo-. It's like, no, you haven't said anything about football. You're just at the end saying – Football is the most important part. Mm-hmm. You're just talking about the business side of things, which isn't cool.